everybody, I'm Ryan Fowler and I'm here in my guitar shop, Ryan Fowler's Guitar Experience. And I'm very excited today because we finally have one of the brand new East Amp Duality heads here with uh, the matching 210 cabinet so we can do a demo for you. Um, we are very excited because we're one of the first dealers for this amp line uh, in the entire country. Uh, we have every model on order and we will have them in stock very, very soon. They are available on our website right now for pre-order. So before we get into what this amp sounds like, let's talk a little bit about the history of uh, East Amps and uh, more importantly, Jeff Bober, the chief amp designer and owner of East Amps. Um, Jeff is considered in the industry to be the godfather of the low wattage amp revolution. Uh, Jeff started designing amps back in the early 90s or possibly even a little bit before. Um, and uh, he was the founder and chief amp designer at Buddha many, many years ago. Um, he has since moved on from that and uh, a few years ago he started East Amps and his, uh, the first line that he came out with was the Club Series. Uh, his Club Series uh, had lots of critical acclaim and there was several big name players playing them including guys like Joe Bonamassa. And uh, he's basically, what he's doing now is he's taken everything that he came up with and tweaked on the Club Series and he's put that into this new two channel amp which is called the Duality. Kind of get into the nuts and bolts of this one and we're going to start playing it a little bit. The 20 watt head has a uh, two EL84 power section. Uh, this is a 30 watt, so this one has four EL84s, but these are not Class A, these are Class AB amps, um, which makes them uh, a little bit more efficient as far as how they sound, and uh, let's get right into it and we'll start to see what it sounds like. So the Duality Amp comes in several different flavors. Um, it comes in a 20 watt, 30 watt, 40 watt, and 50 watt. Um, obviously he does heads in each one of those, and then he also does several different combo configurations in each one. For combos, you can get a 112, uh, you can get what he calls a New York 112, which is a miniaturized, but still 112 combo. Uh, he does a 110 combo, a 210 combo, and then there's also several different cabinet sizes that he makes as well. Um, the cabinet that we have here that we're gonna be playing through is a 210 cabinet also makes a 110 cabinet, a 112 cabinet, and then he makes uh, one of uh, one that's kind of a throwback to one they did years ago at Buddha called a 1210, which is a, uh, a 12 and a 10 in a vertical configuration. That's a really great sounding cabinet as well. So uh, starting from left to right, you have a master presence, uh, an individual master volume for each channel, uh, and then a master EQ section. So you get into bass, middle, and treble. Um, then you also have uh, this switch here which is a three-way switch that is A, B, and E and this is your voicing switch which is going to give you uh, kind of an American uh, voicing, a British voicing, and then an East voicing which is kind of a little bit of both worlds. Um, if you consider the American voicing to be the classic you know big deep rich bottom end type of sound, uh, the British voicing is going to be a little bit thinner on the bottom end uh, and then kind of some enhanced mid-range that's going to be your kind of more um, boxy, marshally, you know, kind of, you know, strong in the middle, cut through the mix kind of sound. And then you have the East voicing, which is the one that's kind of a, that's kind of Jeff's own voicing, which is kind of a combination of the two. Um, just to be perfectly clear though, these voicings are not Fender Marshall box or whatever amps you want to take out of those different things. Just because it's an American voice or a British voice, it still has its own voice, which is what really makes this amp really cool in my, in my opinion. This is not just a, uh, you know, another, yet another tube amp is trying to sound like a, a twin and a Marshall, you know, JMP or something like that. Um, so moving down the line, uh, you have an individual volume and gain for each channel. And then you also have uh, a, uh, this last knob over here, which is called a FET level. 
Um, so FET level is one of the other really cool features that Samp has. It has a what's called a FET boost, or as Jeff likes to call it, Bober FET boost. Um, it's a uh, really clean boost, and it basically just adds a switchable fourth game stage to the to the amp. So on the what that means, what all these boosts and all these different switches and all this stuff means is that on the clean channel, you can go from a super sparkly clean to something in the way of uh, kind of a classic ACDC crunch. I wouldn't call it a high, you, you can't quite get to a high gain setting on the clean channel, but if you crank the gain and the volume all the way up and you crank that fed boost all the way up and engage that, that's gonna give you a kind of crunchy, you know, somewhere in between bluesy and crunchy kind of sound, you know, or dial them all back and obviously you've got a nice clean. Uh, on the drive channel, it kind of picks up uh, just where the first channel left off. So you start off with that kind of mildly crunchy or Texas blues kind of sound, depending on the guitar, all the way up to like just full on dripping wet, saturated gain. <laughs> So there you have it. That is the uh, East Amp Duality in a nutshell. Um, we have every model on order from East Amps. Uh, we should be getting them in the next several weeks. Um, you know, if you're if you're in the market for uh, a super versatile, you know, low wattage but still very loud tube amp, um, I think this is uh, this is going to fill a lot of needs for a lot of different types of players. Um, so you know, thank you for tuning in. Be sure to check us out online, www.ryan'sguitarexperience.com. Thanks.